So with Bumpy Johnson starting the war between the Italians, now he has a new ally, which is Jose Miguel Battle. This is season three, episode three. Quick recap of Godfather of Harlem. We're gonna talk about the highlights today and we're gonna talk about this relationship, this new deal that Bumpy Johnson has with Jose Battle. And from the beginning, it was kind of sketchy, right? With Jose Battle, we didn't know that he was aligned with Joe Colombo. We knew that he was doing his own business. He wasn't really into what Bumpy and the Italians are into, but we also didn't know that where he was getting his artillery was from a different source as well. So from the beginning, you know, him using Santeria and looking at the shells and the shells telling him, listen, it's negative and it turned around when the deal doesn't go well with the Italians and they only going to kick him 10 percent and Bumpy was offering him 50. Now, all of a sudden, all oh, the shells, you know, are not always right. Let me get down with you. Let's be partners. And with this episode, you know, Jose Battle wants Bumpy to do him a favor and take out this guy who supposedly took out his family in Cuba. Real kind of sketchy, says that he's in New York, not in Spanish Harlem, but he's on your side of town, Bumpy. Can you do me this favor? Of course, Bumpy's like, listen, we got a new relationship. Let's do it. So they find him and, you know, Bumpy sends his boys, his boys botch up, you know, the job to try to take this guy out because the strap wasn't loaded. But when the guys get back to Bumpy, they're like, listen, man, this doesn't even seem right. You know, this guy, the way he was running, looking back, you know, in military, you're, not, you're told if you're somebody shooting at you, you don't look back. You just keep running. So it started to look real sketchy to Bumpy, you know, from what his boys are saying. And then we kind of find out this guy's not even military. He didn't even take out Jose Battle's family like this guy's just a reporter. And he's reporting on how terrible Jose Battle is. And Jose Battle just wanted to get rid of him because he's bad for business. Right. So what do we find out? We find out that, yeah, <laughs> Jose Battle really lied to Bumpy. Like, seriously, how are you going to be in a partnership and then make Bumpy feel like, hey, listen, if we're going to be partners, I got to trust you. And I ask you to do me a favor. Are you going to take this guy out or not? And of course, Bumpy catches the guy, finds out that he is writing articles. He's not military. He didn't take out the family, brings him to Jose Battle anyway. And Jose Battle's like, what you going to do? Are we going to be partners or what? So Bumpy being the man of his word, he does take the guy out. But the way that Jose Battle went about it was real sketchy, real shady, like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know how well this relationship is going to go in the future. Uh, we can also find out that, you know, Jose Battle is getting his, you know, artillery from the CIA. So he's working with the CIA as well. So while he was telling Bumpy that this guy, you know, he's part of the CIA, take him out. Jose Battle was lying to Bumpy all that time. So I don't know how well this is going to go. Bumpy really got to watch his back because this guy, Jose Battle, he plays all sides of the fence for his own advantage. You know, so Bumpy got to look out for that. You guys let me know. Drop your comments below. You know, this episode is called Mecca, but, you know, we'll do another video specifically on Malcolm X going to Mecca and what that experience was like. That's another video for another time. But you guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about Godfather Harlem Season 3, Episode 3. This is the quick recap. You already know if you found me for the first time, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And absolutely, I appreciate you all for watching. Until next time, salute.